Hey guys, Zach here, and today we're going to be reviewing the screenwriting program Highland 2. So I've been working with Highland 2 for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it. Like any screenwriting program, it's not without its quirks, which we'll get into later. But for the most part, I really love it. Before we begin, I want to note that I'm using the pro version of the software. So what makes Highland 2 different than other screenwriting programs is that it's just about writing. Which makes sense, as it was created by screenwriter John August. There's no section of storyboard, shot list, or even make a beat board like other screenwriting software. There isn't any frills or many extras, it's just all about writing. For some people, I feel like that can turn them away, but it works for me. This isn't to say Highland 2 is completely without features. It does have a lot, and I'll get into just a few now. So right now I have the script for 790am open. The tab I'm in currently is the editor tab. This is where all of the writing that you'll do happens. But if I switch over to the preview tab, this is where I can preview what my finished script or document is going to look like. We're looking at revision 3 of the script, hence all the changes in there. Over on the far left is the navigator panel. From there, it lists all of your scenes, and you can click on them to view that specific scene. You've got a text bin, where if you have a scene you like but aren't sure what to do with, or may want to move it somewhere else, you can highlight it and drag it in your bin for later. So when you're ready, just drag it back into your document. There's also assets and a scratch pad for any notes you may need to take. There's also a gender analysis tool similar to the one Pixar uses. See how many male and female characters you have and how many lines they each have. Another really cool feature is that you can export it in different file formats. Say I'm working on a script in Highland 2 and someone else who uses Final Draft wants to make an edit, I can go to File, Export to, and then choose Final Draft. It saves it in the proper Final Draft file type so that it can be opened in that program. You can also change the colors and theme of the editor. There's still plenty of features to look at, but those were just a few. Highland 2 isn't only for screenplays, it can be used for just about anything as well. Right now, I have a plain text document open. If I hover over the template tab, it shows me what template I'm using. But when I click the tab, you can see all the different kinds of document templates that you can make and use in this program. I want to talk quickly about a few quirks that Highland 2 has that I've noticed. They won't make or break the program, but it's all good information to know. Firstly, your title page doesn't automatically appear. You have to go to Format, Title Page, and make one. Another one is that typically when a character is talking and a line of action breaks it, other programs will put Continued automatically when the character in the script continues to talk. In Highland 2, you have to write it in yourself. Again, these are small grievances, but I do hope in future versions or updates they fix these things. Highland 2 has all of the basic and industry standard tools that you would need for your screenplay, just without tons of extra features that other screenwriting programs come with. I really love writing in this program. It's incredibly fun to write in, streamlined, and easy to use. It really is designed with the writer in mind. You can even set up writing sprints for yourself, which, as you can see, I've been slacking and doing them. One of the best things about Highland 2 is that even at $50, the pro version comes at a fraction of the price of other screenwriting software. It's been well worth the investment and I highly recommend that you make it. But if you're not ready for the pro version yet, there is a free version that is just as great but obviously without all the features. So that was just a quick review of Highland 2 and I hope you guys consider checking it out. If this was helpful, leave a like, and if you want to see more Highland 2 videos, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. <laughs>